What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to show you guys how to remove a Euro cylinder lock. This here is what a Euro cylinder lock looks like. It's one of the most commonly used household locks around the world and when it comes time to remove or replace this lock from the body itself, there's actually a little trick that you need to know in order to remove it, particularly if you don't have the keys. So guys, let's get straight into it and I'll show you guys how to do it. Let's do this. So the first thing we need to do guys is remove the cover plate or cover face in order to be able to get access to the Euro cylinder lock. This one here is a sliding screen door. Um, so in this case, majority of the time they're either gonna be two screws on the inside or you'll find there's one screw on the inside, one screw on the outside, which is the case in this time. Um, so what we're gonna do is remove that bottom screw first and then we're gonna turn this door around and do the same on the other side. Once that's done, we can now remove the cover plate or the cover face. And as you can see, that there is a Euro cylinder lock. Now the next thing we need to do is remove the locking screw, which is on the side here. So this screw right here in the middle, that is a locking screw. And what that does is that threads into the actual lock itself and keeps that stabilized inside. So once you've removed that screw, this is the part that most people tend to get stuck on. If you notice, we've now removed that screw, and if you try and actually remove that Euro cylinder lock, you'll notice that it's locked in place. The reason for that, if we have a look at the actual cylinder itself, you'll notice there's a little cam or a wing on the side here, and what that does, that locks in a position like this on the side. So if we imagine that one there is on the inside, this wing is actually caught in the actual body of the lock. So what we need to do is we need to return this um, into the 12 o'clock position and the way we do that is by using the key. Now this is why I say this is the part that most people get stuck on because the majority of times that people are replacing these locks or the actual um, cylinder itself is because they've lost the key, they've damaged the key or they want to replace the whole thing um, and then the key might not necessarily work or they might not have access to it. Now if you do have access to it, simply turn that over all the way and that cam simply pops out of place. So you can see there, that controls that cam. If you haven't got the key, this is where we're gonna to have to get creative. So now we've got the lock in the lock position. What we're gonna use this time is a pick. If you haven't got a pick like this one here, it doesn't matter, you can use a bobby pin, you can use a hair clip, you can even use paper clips. Anything that's thin and rigid and will be able to get in that little gap right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually fish for the cam itself. So if we imagine this is the way it's sitting on the inside, we're gonna use our pick or our paper clip or anything that we have laying around. We're gonna slot that in the side and we're gonna flick that um, cam up into the 12 o'clock position. That'll actually release the lock. So once again, slot that down the side and we just wanna fish that up. Once we're done, the lock is now removed. So there you have it guys, that is the easiest way that I have found if you don't have the key for the Euro cylinder lock to be able to remove that lock simply by using a pick and fishing for that cam. Now there are another two more methods, you can obviously pick the lock itself, get that cam back into the 12 o'clock position, remove it, and the other option is to snap the Euro cylinder lock. Now I don't like to do that because you run a few risks of damaging the door or the body itself for the lock, um, and I prefer not to use that method. So guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If there's anything else you guys wanna learn how to do in or around your house, put it in the comment section below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's Out Too.